Hello friends, in this video you will learn number of factors of a number. If any number is given we can find out all the factors of that number. For example, 12 is given. We can write all the factors of this. That means which are divisible by 12. So in one table 12 is there. So in two table there is 12. So these are all divisible. So 1, 2, 3. In 4 table again 5. It's not in 5 table. So it's not 5. It's not factor of 12. And we have 6 and 12. So you can find out number of factors like this. But without using in this way, without finding one by one, is any method to directly find it for all the factors of a number. If it's a simple number, we can do in this. For example, they are given 128. So it's take a lot of time to find out all the factors in this. So in this class, I'll tell you the easiest method to find out number of factors of any number. Before seeing this, before learning this, you'll see once prime factorization concept. prime factorization. Any number is given, we can write that number in the product of primes. Any number is given, we can write product of primes. For example, same we can take as 12. 12 we can write product of prime numbers. That is, we can write 12 as 3 into 4. But again, 4 you can write 2 into 2. So 2 is also prime number. So there is only one even prime is the 2. So 12 we can write 3 into 2 into 2. So product of prime numbers. Any number we can write only product of primes. 14 is given. 14 we can write 7 into 2. So 7 is a prime number, 2 is a prime number. If it is 48 is given. So the easiest method is we can do division with prime numbers. For example 48. The first prime number is 2. We need to check it is divisible by 2 or not. Yes is even number 224 again if it is possible to again start with 2 itself 212 again it is divisible by 2 so we can again continue with 2 division 2 6 are 12 again it is divisible by 2 2 3 zero. so 3 is also prime number so it's 3 1 zero, 3 so finally 48 I can write the product of prime numbers which are 2 is 4 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into again 3 is only 1 so this if you want to simplify this 2 to the power 4 because 2 is 4 times and 3 is only 1 that is 3 power 1 so 48 so this method is nothing but is a prime factorization now if you know prime factorization finding number of factors is very easy we'll come to our page number of factors of any number we will take we'll test with 48 number now 48 using prime factorization I did 2 to the power 4 into 3 to the power 1 once you will see the factors of all 48 48 factors are it is 1 because in all table it is in 2 table 3 and 4 6 8 is 8, 6, 0. Again we have 12, 16, there is 12 table and even 16 also. Then again 24, 24 to the 48 and 48 ones. So these are all the factors of 48. So here number of factors are, so all the number of factors of 48 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So total 10. But without doing in this way, we need to find out directly. The simple concept is in this is any number we can write as the product of prime factors, you know that. For example, n is a number. We can write only product of primes. That is 2 power and 3 to the power and 5 to the power and 7 to the power something. These are all the numbers. So 2 power p, 3 power q, 5 to the power r, 7 to the power s, so on. Because any number we can write a product of the prime numbers. So these are all the prime numbers. One. Now we are getting some powers. So number of factors for this formula is we can take all the powers and we will add 1 to every power. 
that is p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1 into s plus 1 we should add one number to the every power and we should multiply everything so this says the number of factors let us see that example now 48 so we have 2 to the power 4 and 3 to the power 1 according to formula when you take the power first power is 4 add 1 and multiply with next number power is 1 plus 1 4 plus 1 is 5 1 plus 1 is 2 so 5 2 is a 10 so number of factors is 10 is exactly equal to this any number is given we can find out number of factors first we need to go for prime factorization method according to that we need to take all the powers this all the powers is added by 1 and we need to multiply the total if there is no but for example 3 power something is not there so we can take remaining powers only powers we need to add 1 and we should multiply everything then we will get the number of factors prime factorization method concept if you know we can find out the number of factors are very easy all the powers you can add thanks for watching this video for more videos and pdf files if you need subscribe this youtube link and visit www.foundationforiit.blogspot.in so thanks for watching this video thank you